Hello and welcome back. When the user clicks on this add tax link, a form will display that will enable to enter the tax parameters and submit. So to begin, I'll create the following URL. And I'll call it add task. So I'll send the user's email. This is from user dot email. We're going to use this email to select the user that we're adding the tax to. So next I'll create a method that responds to this request in the back end. So I'll create another controller and I'll call it task controller. I'll annotate it with add controller annotation and I'll inject inside here the tax service. So auto wired then I'll create the method that responds to that request. We call it add task. I'll just call this tax home and we're sending in the email. I'll also just declare here the model and I would like to keep this email. So I'll pass inside here a session and use it to store this email. So I'll pass the tax object to the view model dot add attribute. I'll call this task and this should be new task. Then I'll return the view location. It should be in view, in view, sorry, and it should be called tax form. And I'll start this email in the session. So, session dot set attribute. I'll just call it email, and it should be this email. So let's create this form. I'll copy the register form that we earlier had and change it to tax form. And most of the functionality will be the same. So here I'll just change this to add task. This should then be task. I'll get rid of this one here and for the tax fields we have let me expand this one here we have the date so I'll change this to time I'll call this date this should be date instead not time so this object is called date 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 and date also here this should be date so next I'll do the same thing for the start time so this is where I'll add here time and I'll call this start time I'll copy this and paste it here
and here I'll change this to start time I'll also paste that here and finally yeah then the next one is the stop time so again I'll change this to time it should be stop time stop time so once more I'll copy that and paste it here And finally for the description I'll copy this and paste it here so this should be the description of the tags I'll copy this and change this to description as well as this one this and this this should be text and this should be a text area so I'll get rid of this and close that tag. So like this, we are done with the HTML form. Maybe I have an error here. Yes, this is an error. We need to close this tag here. And also for the text area, we don't need the type. I'll save this and we are done with the form so back in the browser if I click on add tags we get this form so let's go ahead and implement the form submit so for the form submit we should handle this post request so I'm back in the tags controller or add here at post mapping annotation it's a task public string I'll just call it a task and we get in the task and this task we want to validate it so I'll add here binding result just like we did with the registration And here I'll add also add valid and I'll also want to get the email from the session so I'll pass inside here HTTP session that is the attribute that we save here we're going to use it to know which user is being assigned the task So next I'll open up the messages the properties file and add in the validation messages for the task. So that should be not empty task date. I'll just type here please enter a date. And all of that was almost not empty, not empty. Let me check it. Not empty, not empty. Yeah. So for the description here, I'm going to increase the length. 
I'll set it to say 1000. So again, I'll just copy this and paste it here. The next one is description. The other one is start time. This should be place enter a task description and finally for the stop time I'll save this and back in the controller I will check if there are any errors then I will just return the tax form so I will copy this and paste it here and next if there are no errors i'll get the email from the session with the session that get attribute we call it email i'll cast this to a string So I also need to inject inside here the tax, the user servicer. And here I'll call task service dot add tax. We'll pass in the task and we use the user service to find the user that needs to be assigned the tax. So we call it find one. We pass in the email. So when all of this is done, we redirect back to the users table. So return redirect users so let's test this on the browser I'll refresh this then I'll choose a user here we get the form let's test the form validation and that is working uh, let's try to add some tax this time input fees might not work on some browsers So if I submit this, you see it worked. So again, I'll try this one.
so we can also verify in the database I should click here on task and as you can see a user with this email was assigned the following task so also on users we see all the users that we added and so on so that is fine if you are kind of having problems with them um, with this you should try and change this here into maybe date like so in small letters so with that done in the next video i will do the profile implementation and then i will start with the spring security integration until then see you